We're here with Lou from Flex Radio, and Lou's going to go over a few things and let us know about uh, Flex Radio, some entry-level radios, and maybe if you want the high end, he'll tell you about that. So, Lou, what's new and cool with Flex Radio? Uh, our our uh, 6000 series uh, Flex Radio is fantastic. You can uh, start from the brand new ones we have out, which is the 6400 and 6400M, and then you go to the 6600 and the 6600M. The entry-level radio is basically a two receiver radio, two identical receivers. Um, it's, you can use uh, digital audio exchange with them, you can set up any application program. A lot of people like to use FT8 right now. Setting up FT8 is very, very simple. There's no more wiring of, of accessory plugs or any of that, uh, uh, setting out those little DIN plugs and doing uh, soldering on them. Uh, basically, everything is done via software, and if you want, I can show you very quickly sure. how, how it's done. Okay? Anything you'd like to show us, sure. we're happy to do so. Okay, because we don't like to set up external antennas at these uh, conferences anymore, what we do is we, re we remote into other people's stations. Okay. For instance, the station you see here with the pan adapter, if you want to pan over there, this pan adapter is from a station up in Ontario, Canada right now, oh, okay. so I'm remoting into that. In order to set up, for instance, FT8, which is this application over here, mm -hmm. there's no more wiring, there's no more uh, sound cards, there's no more uh, signal links or any of those other adjuncts. Right. All you really have to do is come over here and go digital audio exchange channel number one, and you come over to the other side here on your application program, and you set up the settings here, and here's digital audio exchange channel number one. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Oh, so okay. now all of the audio from the FT8 frequency is coming over to your application program and is being decoded here. That's how easy it is with the flex radios. All of our flex radios do the same thing. So mm -hmm. it's not a matter of this one up in Canada can do it. Mm -hmm. All of them can do it. Mm -hmm. Now we basically have um, four models that uh, are brand new. If you want to take a walk down here, sure. I can show you Before that. Before we move on real quick, sure. is this one a... Which radio was this that we were looking at? That radio is a 6600, and it's uh, right now it's up in um, Ontario, Canada, as I is, said. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So is that is that one of the entry level radios, or is it mid mid level? That would be that would be a mid level radio. Mid level okay. radio. Okay. But like I said before, all of the, our radios can do identical. Okay. The same thing. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a walk. Now. Is the first radio um, that someone would start with, basically? It's a it's a $1,999 radio, and it gives you two totally separate receivers. It gives you all the software that goes with it. By the way, our software will run any one of our radios. So when you buy the radio, if you want to upgrade the radio, you don't have to do anything with the software. The software will run any radio. Again, this will give you two totally separate receivers. Um, and it'll get you on any band, 160 through 6, 100 watt output, runs off of a very small um, power supply. The, the control head you see here is what they call the Maestro. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Maestro allows you wirelessly to use your radio. For instance, if I wanted to take this control head and walk around the convention here, I could and still use my radio. The, well, the nice feature about that is um, about uh, six weeks ago, I was over in Germany mm -hmm. and I was at WRTC and I took my Maestro with me and because it's wireless, I was able to hook that up to the uh, hotel Wi-Fi wi and I was able to operate my radio in North Carolina. So here I am sitting in Germany playing with my radio in North Carolina wow. with the control head. And again, this is, the, this is the first radio we have. It's called the 6400. Now the 6400M has the control head built into it. Reason we did that is a lot of people like to have a radio with everything built into it. So we came out with that version. So let me to clarify. Yep. This box has everything you told us in it from 160 through 6 meters, 100 watts output, but I need a computer to hook up to it. Perfect. And then, exactly. And then in, in addition to that, I could have them set up as my base station. I could purchase the Maestro to use with it yes. and have the remote application. Exactly right. That's what, very cool. What I, what I do at home personally is I take this, I don't even see my radio. I put it under my desk. I use my, my Maestro if I'm working in my tool shop and I'm doing something in the tool shop, I can scan the bands and make, make sure of things that are happening on the band. Then when I come back into the shack, I turn this off and I operate my radio through my PC. So it's either or, but not both. 
Very cool. Okay. Very cool. Now, as far as the the next step up, this is the 6600. Okay. The 6600 is a uh, single operator uh, two radio um, machine. Basically, it allows uh, one operator to do to do two bands at the same time. He can be transmitting on one and still listening on another band. And for contesters, it's unbelievable. So to differentiate between this one and the first one you showed us, that's a dual receiver, but it cannot transmit on one and receive on the other at the same time. That is correct, yes. This one can do that. This one can do that. Okay. okay. Now the difference, the difference again between the, uh, that radio, the 6400, and the 6600, is the 6600 will give you four pan adapters. Oh, wow. Okay, that one will give you two pan adapters. Okay. Now, people say, well, what can I use four pan adapters for? I'll give you what I do at home. Okay, everybody's into FT8 right now. Okay, yes. what I do with FT8 is I set up uh, 40 meters FT8, I set up 20 meters FT8, 17 meters FT8, and also 6 meters FT8. So I have four different bands I'm looking at at the same time with four different instances of FT8 running at the same time. So I can be monitoring four different bands at the same time. That's what's so cool about our radios. You can set up multiple bands with multiple decodes. Conversely, if you're not only into FT8 and you're into CW, you can set up instances of WSJT and also CW Skimmer. So now you can be looking at multiple bands of WSJT and Skimmer at the same time. Which Sounds is like you're describing the ultimate contest radio. Contest radio, but again, yeah. with the entry-level right. radio, with the entry-level radio of 1999, you can set up two. So you can be looking at 20 meters and 17 meters at the same time. So it's not only the contest, it's for the, for the Joe Ham of the world that just wanted two receiver radio. And for 1999, I don't know anybody that can compete with that radio. I'm, I think I'm closer to Joe Ham. I like, I like that. So am I. I like that. <laughs> so am I. That's very um, cool. Again, every, all of our radios come with the remote capabilities. You can be anywhere in the world and still operate your radio at home. Great. Let me ask you one more question, and we'll let you go, sir. Uh, support. Somebody buys this, and they need some support, uh, software support, hardware support. Can they call somebody? Can they Skype somebody? Mm -hmm. how, how do you handle that? Okay, we have uh, two, two main uh, avenues for questions. Uh, one main avenue that we have, which is which I use, and I know the radios, is uh, we have a flex community. The flex community is nothing more than a large talk group, talk group of flex radio operators. Okay? okay. If you put a question on that within 15 minutes, you're going to have somebody who has already run into that problem and has a solution for it. Mm -hmm. the, the second level support you have is on the radio. There's a link that you can click on that gives you a help desk ticket. So you click on the help desk ticket, you put your help desk ticket, it, it goes into a, a queue and somebody will get back to you, probably within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So we have a, basically a two level support. If the help desk person can't handle you, it goes over to our engineering support who will then take the ticket from there. So we have multiple levels of support. Very good, Lou. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah.